Fit and 10 Nation. It is day 12 of the Fit and 10 Challenge. And I am slowly going to make my way through all of your feedback from last week. Uh, I got a lot of you giving me your feedback, but I certainly don't have all of you. Um, I will start to nudge you individually. For those of you who maybe aren't watching these videos or just choosing not to write in for whatever reason, I don't know. You tell me. No idea. Okay, um, let's get to food of the day. I haven't talked about anything regarding vegetables or fruits yet. Um, so I'm going to show you one that I love. Um, now, before I show you this, um, you might ask, is there a difference between frozen and fresh vegetables? Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, if you're buying fresh in store, Arguably, frozen will be better. It's really hard to say, though, because you don't really know what's done to it in between its harvesting time and the time it gets to you, right? But the reason I say that is because, you know, generally with frozen vegetables, as far as I know, when they're harvested, they're frozen within hours. Now, they might go through a, a, uh, a blanching period, that is, they are exposed to hot water to kill any bacteria. And, of course, that can be detrimental to some of the nutrition in there, like vitamins B and C especially. Um, but hopefully, you know, uh, that's not the case. But I'm sure it is in some instances with some vegetables. I don't know how you can tell, to be honest with you. It doesn't say on packaging. I can never seem to find it on packaging. Um, so, but if they're harvested and they're frozen, um, you know, in a short period of time, then that nutrition is being, you know, con uh, conserved. Hopefully they're not being blanched. Um, I don't know if they have to be. I just, I don't know enough on the on the topic. Maybe somebody does know, and if you do, share with me. Um, but if you're buying fresh from stores and it's just sitting there on the shelves, it's been harvested for, you know, like it's been sitting out for two or three or four days, you know, it's losing its nutrition to some degree, right? So. Um, this is one of my faves, I got it at Costco. Um, I really like this one because, well, more than anything, it's convenient, but it's got a good blend of different colors. So you've got reds and greens and yellows and oranges and even, you know, lighter, lighter type vegetables like onions and, and water chestnut. Um, so you get a variety of different colors in these these colors these pigments in the in the vegetables are often signs of different you know polyphenols these phytonutrients these 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 basically these health containing components uh, in fruits and vegetables that essentially help to keep us healthier and so when you're getting different colors um, you know it's supposed to be a good thing Okay, in terms of getting a spectrum of, of polyphenols, different phytonutrients. Um, okay, so in this we've got broccoli, sugar snap peas, green beans, carrots, yellow carrots, mushrooms, red bell peppers, uh, water chestnut and onions. So it's a good little mix. It is a stir fry mix, obviously. Um, I like it. I do this. I should show you actually. I do. I, I particularly like putting this together with ground turkey breast, lean ground turkey breast, and then a little bit of um, seasoning. Uh, my favorite seasoning that goes with that is, uh, what's it called? Red pepper, no, ro no, roasted garlic red pepper seasoning, so good. And then I put that, I usually have that with some rice, some white rice, yes, white rice, I know. And uh, a little bit of sweetener, like stevia because I like a little bit of sweetness. Um, it goes well with that particular spice that I mentioned, that uh, red, uh, red roasted pepper garlic. I'll show you guys eventually, okay? So anyways, if you're worried about having frozen vegetables for nutrition, don't worry so much about that, okay? Um, anything else I wanted to say? Uh, you know, depending on what things are grown in, it's going to determine some other nutritional value, right? So, you know, when we're talking about mineral content, 
like the vegetables are the fruits and vegetables are only as good as the soil that they're grown in in terms of their mineral content. So I mean, that's where the minerals are coming from. So if it's depleted soil, it's not going to be as nutritious, right? Okay, uh, how am I doing here? Five minutes. Okay, quickly on the topic of painkillers, people are looking for painkillers. Um, okay, if you're going to take a painkiller, which I don't recommend you do, you know, listen, muscle soreness is muscle soreness. It's just what's going to happen when you're subjecting your body to a stimulus it's not used to. And listen, this is a good thing because when you subject your body to a stimulus it's not used to, it becomes uh, adapted to that. That adaptation is progress. That is, uh, you know, uh, in this case, we're going to start to see more muscle tone and uh, fat loss, okay, and, and muscle strength. Okay, so we need to go through some pain, literally, to see a change. But listen, if you're going to take a, uh, a painkiller, then my suggestion is that you take something like Tylenol, not Advil or Ibuprofen, because Advil and Ibuprofen are NSAIDs. They're uh, non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatories. And um, you want inflammation to, to, to stick around because inflammation is part of the healing process. Everybody thinks like inflammation is bad. No, inflammation, well, depends on what we're talking about. But if you have an injury, okay, inflammation is good. That's part of the healing process. Okay. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos short. I just want to say something else. But I, I can't because it's going to be too long. Okay, I'll come back to it tomorrow. It's just on the topic of non whey based protein. I'm getting to all of your questions. Okay. Um, message of the day. You get back exactly what you put in. You get back exactly what you put in. Remember that. If you're not happy with what you see, come your first scan, which, oh, by the way, I'll talk about scans in a second. Um, if you're not happy, then um, you know you need to question, are you, putting, are you putting in what you're supposed to be putting in? Okay? Um, it, the, the, you know, this, this saying really rings true. You will get back... You know, one of my, uh, so this is a coach I had when I was in my early 20s, uh, actually I was 19. Her coach said that she loved, her coach was a, her coach is now a professional bodybuilder. Uh, uh, Don Allison, you maybe, I don't know, some of you may know Don Allison. She's quite well known in the Surrey area. Um, but she said that, you know, she loved bodybuilding because it gave her, she, whatever she put into it, she got exactly out of it. You know, if she cut corners, she knew she cut corners and she could see the result. She could see the, the lack of results. And if she pushed herself, she could see the results. Like she always said that it was like the one thing that she got, she got back exactly what she put in. And uh, this is very similar to that. You know, you get back exactly what you put in. And this goes, this goes um, hand in hand with many, many things in life, right? So, you know, you got to, well, you will get exactly what you put in. So make sure you're doing or you're following the three pillars of this challenge. Not sort of, not kind of, not sometimes. Okay? You need to, you need to stick to things and do things as best as possible. Try your hardest, okay? And don't beat yourself up if you're not perfect. But you're always striving for, for perfection, right? You need to submit, commit yourself to this challenge, you guys. I'll talk to you all very soon. Positive energy, positive vibes. Give some gratitude and for the love of God, believe in yourself. I will talk to you all very soon. One click. Let's see. See ya.